Hi, this is Glenn, and I'm going to share with you a, uh, a very cool um, application that's available from Nokia. Um, it's the OV Application Wizard. What this uh, web-based tool does is it basically enables anyone to quickly and easily create a uh, mobile application and publish it in the Nokia OV Application uh, Store. So, as you can see, here I am at ovappwizard.com. Now you'll need an account. I'm currently logged in here, so that's why we're seeing the, uh, the initial screen um, with the options. So I'm going to go in here and build a new application. It's really simple to do. You see here on the right that we've got a uh, emulator here, which is going to show us um, basically what the application is going to look like. So the first thing it wants is it's looking for an RSS feed. This app is uh, based entirely on uh, using feeds to generate content. So uh, that's what makes it so easy. So I'm going to paste in the URL of an RSS feed and I'll click preview. And now you can see that we have content here that is being pulled from the feed very basic. We've got a little basic navigation here on the bottom. So here we can go on. Um, it's asking for several more RSS feeds. So um, maybe what I'll do is I'm going over here. Let's go to Twitter. For this example I'm going to build a mobile application for our Symbian One website. That was what the first feed I entered was the uh, RSS feed from Symbian1.com. So now I'm at the Symbian1 Twitter, and I'm just clicking on the RSS feed so that I can grab the link. So right here in the um, app wizard, I entered the um, RSS feed from Twitter, click preview. And it should do something. There we go. Now it's pulling content from that feed. So maybe one more what I'll do. I have a uh, Flickr account. Flickr, like many other web services, also provides users with an RSS feed. So I'm going to the feed. And once again back to the app wizard. Oops. Um, not sure what it's doing. It's not letting me. Oops. Uh, sorry. Once again, I'm. Uh, so I'm banging in the feed. Yes, this is a live demo. I'm going to go back and get my Symbian 1 Twitter, Twitter feed. What happened was it didn't actually accept the um, feed, that one of the feeds that I had entered. It's a little touchy. There we go. So now I click preview. There we go. So we have a couple of feeds here. Now I'm going to click Next Step. So now what the app does is it uh, we have um, basically ways that we can customize the look and feel of it. Um, you know, set different colors. Um, application logo. So I can go out here and uh, I'm going to grab a logo. And I upload. There we go. Now that's not a perfect size, we're a little stretched. Um, um, one thing I would like to see with this is maybe when you're uploading a graphic or a logo to use is maybe you, if we had the chance to resize or crop it here within the, uh, within the wizard. But um, those kind of things still need to be worked out, I think. I'm going to alter a couple more colors. 
application language. We can set that. So I'm happy with those colors. Whoops. Sorry, right here. We set the application name. We'll call it Symbian One Mobile. Um, Symbian News. So we have different channels. So for each feed, um, each feed we enter creates what's called a channel. And now we're setting it. So right here, these are the photos. Um, for our Twitter feed, we're going to call the channel you know, the Symbian One Twitter. that I believe oh uh, the graphic here what's happening is it um, it actually wants a graphic it's kind of yelling at me um, I'm just going to uh, enter anything here there we go okay so there we have our application we've got assigned the custom colors and graphics now we just have to confirm things yes I do have the legal right for all this stuff because it is my content confirm it you can monetize your channel here um, I'm not gonna enable advertising at this time because I don't have an account I'm almost done so now we just need to add another description um, news and tips about mobile technologies from Symbian One. Set a category. Um, we are going to call that news and info, global distribution, price point. Um, we can charge for it. We'll set that as free because we like free stuff finished there we go so now you can see um, I actually have an application that I already built which is being reviewed by the OV team and this one here Symbian one mobile news is ready I'm gonna submit that to the OV store and there we go it's been submitted um, and it needs to be reviewed for them by them so there you have it that's the OV application wizard Enjoy, and we'll post more about that on symbian1.com.